Yo, what's going on, guys? Outcast Warfare here, along with OA Gaming TV. Uh, we are going to be playing Serena. Um, it's a little bit more serious game. Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath. Serena. Um, there's not going to be much co much commentary on this. Um, basically because I want you guys to lis listen to the story and um, it, this story was actually really good like I played it all the way through and I highly suggest this S suggest this game if you like storytelling games so um, so let's just go ahead and start it off here hope you guys like it Serena, why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. I won't be playing this all the way through. I'll just give you guys a little teaser trailer because the people that made this game really could use the support, I'm sure. Um, because it's amazing like they did a really really good job so um, if you guys want to finish it up I suggest you go to Steam and download it if maybe later down the road if you know by chance some of my viewers can't go to Steam they don't have a computer or or something like that um, I will go ahead and finish it out but I'm not going to finish it out for a while was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. My love, we don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera different world back then my love we don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple so this one is quite important um the only the way to like this, make sure they're done is if it's if you you know the narrator starts to repeat camera. himself um it's a different world back then the only way to go about it is just make sure you go you know go through each one if it's if it repeats itself then you know you're done with that particular object all right The furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped make up our mind. Sometimes she would brush her leg against mine under the table when we were eating. A curious, sensual thrill. The table is worn but sturdy, just like our relationship was, or is. I just don't know anymore. Our dining table, quite modest, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I could tell plenty of stories about this table. To be honest, I'm surprised it's still in one piece. The dining table was well-worn even when we acquired the cabin. You could tell from its appearance that it had been the centerpiece of many happy occasions. And there were many more to come. Our dining table... Quite modest, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, which way should we go? Let's go this way first, guys. All right. So much wisdom and happiness in this bookcase. My life would have been much poorer without all this. The smell of old books is intoxicating. What happens to wood pulp as it ages gives it that distinctive vanilla smell. I loved it when we took down one of my favorites and curled up on the bed to read together as the wind howled outside on cold winter nights. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here too. A lot of rarities and special editions here. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? No. 
course not. All right, so it's repeated. Most itself. of the books are mine, but all of hers are right, still so it's here back too. Back out of this. Um, I know it's before the to the story can like continue. You got to make sure you find everything in here that you can, you know, basically get the story on. So. Sharing meals with a good red wine was one of the great pleasures in our relationship, especially in the intimacy of this cabin. I should probably eat. Can't remember the last time I ate. Yet I don't feel hungry. I have more pressing things on my mind right now than culinary exploits. The stove looks like something from World War I. Considering how basic and ancient the kitchen is, it's a wonder what we manage to do with it from time to time. Well, so it sounds like, you know, mostly. she, you know, he's, he really truly loved her. Um, Feeling, peckish, dear? Feeling peckish, dear? The stove looks like something from World War I. So many afternoons spent in this armchair. Come sit with me. I want to talk. And it sounded like she loved him, too. What did we talk about? Damn this fallible memory of mine. It almost... It almost... Comfortable spot in the cabin. Well... It almost seems bed, like, um... He's forgotten, right? He's forgotten, you know, about her a little bit. Like, some of the memories and whatnot. I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now, putting her hand under my shirt. Of course, we made love here, too. Ooh. There was no place in the cabin we didn't before things... Ooh, bounce. Wow, wow. <laughs> They'd be getting nasty in the cabin. The most comfortable spot in the cabin. Okay. Well, along with the bed, All right, so let's go ahead and go over this way. Um, that's kind of creepy. I can't really do anything I can't click on or nothing. Oh, what about this picture? I played this game and I still don't know what these pictures do. I, 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 may, I might miss something. Maybe you guys can write in the comments and tell me exactly what they're supposed to mean or if they're just simply just pictures on the wall. This window never got much attention. Then again, the view isn't nearly as spectacular. <laughs> Priorities, right? I guess it's covered with grease and grime from cooking, mostly. There's probably nothing out there that I want to see, anyway. All the stuff I care about is inside. Well, except for Serena. I can make out nothing through this window. There was a time long ago that all this disrepair felt oddly homey. All the windows are drafty, but like everything else, we just got used to it. We liked it, even. I can make okay. out nothing through this window. Mm -hmm. This one wobbles. I always meant to do something about that, but somehow never got around to it. This used to be her favorite spot. She used to sit here, put her legs on the table, lean back, and just give me one of her smiles. Those effervescent, incandescent smiles. Once, we dragged these chairs out to the lake and scrubbed off all the dust and grime of years. That was a long time ago. For all the charm of furniture like this, something about it reminds me of Ingmar Bergman. Sort of <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> One of a matching pair. Obviously, there was a piece of gum stuck to the underside of this chair back when we bought this place. 
We just left it there. All right, so he's repeating itself. For all the right, so charm on. of furniture like this, something about it reminds me of Ingmar Bergman. Sort of. No, I don't want to leave right now. There's still something for me in here. I, I better stay in, in case Serena comes back. There's always a chance she might So it sounds like Serena left him, right? There's nothing for me out there. This door has been creaking for years. One of the many things I promised I would fix. I have this gut feeling that okay. I shouldn't leave just yet. Okay. There's nothing for me out there. Okay. She made this with her own hands. She was really good. Look what I made, hun. In case we ever need to sweep something under the carpet. See the pattern of yellow squares? It's from this rug. See the pattern of yellow squares? It's from this rug I remembered from my nursery. I must have been like three or four, but it always stuck with me. No trap door under there. Just more creaky floor. I always resisted the temptation to sweep things under there when it was my turn to tidy up. The rug's all crooked again. Can you help me straighten it out? Okay. No trap door under there. Just no, more check this out floor. first. Come, love, with peace in your heart, said Niav of the ice blue eyes. Hmm. Blue eyes. It's based on an Irish folktale. Warrior poet Oshin goes to Tirnanog, a Celtic otherworld known as the land of youth and promise. Niav is of the fey folk, the fair ones, fairies. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still, some lines jump out at you. I've always been drawn to things that are kind of both good and bad at the same time. Maybe because that's so like life. My grandma introduced me to these old legends when I was just a kid, in between stories of what she could still remember of her childhood in the old country. Okay. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still, some lines jump out at you. Something draws me to this trunk. Is it the memories locked within? Or something else? We use this trunk to store trinkets and papers, but I can't help thinking there's something of importance inside. It's too painful. I want to, but not yet. We found this trunk at a flea market. We used to love rummaging around those in our early years. Big enough for a lifetime of mementos. But we hated guns, so we never had any, even out here. But this would have been a good place to keep one, since it can be okay. locked. We found this trunk at a flea market. Uh, let's go over here. We used to love rummaging around those in our let's go early over here. years. For some reason, light bulbs wouldn't last long in this lamp. I never looked into it. Two days, three days tops, and bam, a brand new light bulb would burn out. Whenever her lamp didn't work, Serena would come by my side to read. A few moments later, she would lay her head down on my chest and fall asleep. The only reason this lampshade gathered less dust than the other one was that we had to keep putting new bulbs in this one. Because of a wiring problem, or whatever, this one always starts smelling sharply of metal after being on for a while. Considering what a strong odor of metal this one gives off when in use, I guess we were lucky never to have an accident. Okay. The only reason this lampshade gathered less dust than the other one was that we had to keep putting new bulbs like a in flower. This she adored all things of nature. I remember her long walks out in the woods. 
curiously, we never brought many plants inside the cabin. We were surrounded by so many outside, and I guess we were saturated by them. At least I was. Maybe I should have let her bring some plants inside. She liked them a lot. A plant is a plant, beautiful to some, boring to others. They say these things are alive. If they are, it must be a horrible existence confined in their own silent, dark world. We have much more interesting things than this plant inside the cabin, like my books. A plant is a plant, beautiful to some, boring to others. She is fairly religious, not me. I'm the cold and cynical bastard, but I don't remember that ever being an issue between us. She always thought our relationship was a blessing. God, how I miss her. <laughs> no longer the cynical asshole, I so, guess. So, you guys, why do you think, um, in the comments below, right, why do you think that, you know, he's missing her? Where did Serena go? Like, where is she? Where do you think she went? Her faith came as a surprise to me. She was never prudish about sex, so I just didn't expect it. I guess people simply aren't that predictable. No, I don't want to read right now. Especially not a Bible. I have no need for the words in there. I don't feel like being admonished by a deity right now. Okay. No, I don't want to read right now. Especially not a Bible. Next gen, go for the gold in the wind. I'm next gen, game is over, face your end. I'm next gen, check the headlines and the trends. Yeah, I'm on a new level that you can't contend. I'm next.